Welcome to Accounting in Focus. In this video we're going to run through the calculations. So how do you actually finish up this problem? So let's go over the facts. So the company plans to sell $50,000 worth of four-year 8% semi-annual bonds. And the question is how much will these bonds sell for if the market rate is 10%, 8%, 6%. So when asked what will the bond sell for, that's the same thing as asking for the issue price. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. We have three different scenarios. The first thing I like to do before I actually run through the calculations is I try to determine if the bonds are going to sell for par a premium or a discount. Okay, so I like to run through that calculation first, or run through that exercise first, because then when I calculate the numbers, I know what to expect. Okay, so if the market rate is 10% and the company is offering 8% for their bonds, then I'm going to need some kind of incentive to buy those bonds. So this is going to be a discount. Okay. If the market is 8 and the bonds are 8, well, those are the same, so that will sell for par. Okay, it's also called face value. And then if the market rate is 6, but the company sells their bonds for 8, well, people are going to want those bonds, right? So they'd be willing to pay more for them to get the higher rate of return, so these bonds are going to sell for a premium. Okay, so now we know to expect a discount, right, is less than face, so less than par. This is going to be equal to par, and premium is going to sell for more than par. Okay, so we know what to expect when we're doing the calculations. All right, so now let's start running through the calculation for A. Okay. So remember we said in the last video that there are two different parts to this bond. There is the bond itself, the $50,000. And then we also said that there were interest payments. Remember, I equals PRT. And then last video we said that was 50000 times 8% times two periods. Right, it's a semi-annual, so 6 over 12, and that equals 2,000. Okay, so I not only am getting the $50,000, but I'm also getting these interest payments of $2,000. And so we need to determine what is the present value of receiving $50,000 four years from now, and then these payments of 2,000. And remember, we're going to see eight payments because it's four years and it's semi-annual so it's twice a year. Okay, so now how do we look this up in the table? Okay, well, we're always going to figure out the present value based on the market rate. So the market rate in the first one is 10%. Okay, so if we think about there are two important concepts. You need to know the number of periods and the way I like to think of that is periods equals payments. And then you need to know the rate for each period. Okay, so how many periods do I have? Well, how many payments are there going to be of interest? Four years, two payments per year, so that's eight. Change the color there. So that's going to be 8. And then what's the rate for the period? Well, the rate for the period is going to change based on the market rate. So in the first case, my rate is 10%. But remember, it's semi-annual, so it's twice a year. So the rate is going to be 5%. OK? So my rate for the period is going to be 5%. OK? So now how do we look that up in the table? Well. You're going to see in the table that there are percentages across the top. 
and then down the side there are numbers. Okay, the numbers down the side are your periods, and then the rate is the rate you're going to look up. So we said the rate is 5% for 8 periods. We're going to go 8, start here, and we're going to go across until we get to 5%. So I'm going to multiply the 50,000 times 0.6768. Okay, so that's the factor that we're going to use to determine the value of the bond. Now, we also have to calculate the value of these payments, the $2,000 payments. So again, we're going to figure out the present value of that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the same thing. We have this present value of an annuity. Remember in the last video we said that this is a series of payments, so this is an annuity. We're still going to use the 8 periods, and we're going to go across to 5%. Okay, so we're going to use 6.46321. And you can actually, you can Google present value tables, um, and you can actually find these online. Okay, so this isn't some like magical thing that, you know, that only accounting professors have access to you can definitely go out and find these online very easily. Okay, so let's do the calculation then. So 50,000, and I kind of didn't leave myself enough space, so I'll put this down here. I'll put that down there. So 50,000 times 0.67684 is 33,842 dollars. So the way you could kind of think of this is if somebody walked up to you and said, hey, I'll give you $50,000 four years from now. And you go, okay, well, would you give somebody $50,000 today if they're going to give you back $50,000 in four years? Well, not if you want to make any money on it. So if the market rate is 10%, $33,842 at 10% would give you $50,000 in four years. Okay, so that's kind of how you have to look at this is we're taking the future 50,000 and we're discounting it to what it's worth today. Then we're going to do the same thing for the $2,000 payments, except remember we're not getting one payment, right? We're getting eight payments. So the number has to be somewhere between the value of one payment and the value of eight payments. But remember it's going to be discounted because we're not getting all those payments today. So remember, $2,000 today is worth more than $2,000 in six months. And it's worth even more than that in 12 months, and even more than that in 18 months, right? So we're getting these payments over the next four years. So if we multiply 2,000 by our factor of 6.46321, we get 12,926 dollars. And if we add that together, remember, what did we say? This is going to be a discount, right? So that means that the, the amount that we sell them for is going to be less than par. And actually, if you add this together, you get $46,768. Okay, and there's a little bit of rounding in there. I'm just rounding to the whole dollar. But you notice if my, my face value is 50, but these are only going to sell for 46. Okay, let's do another one. Let's grab a different color for B. So again, we're going to do the 50,000 and then the present value of the $2,000 payments. Now this time, my market rate is 8% and my face rate is 8%. So we said this is going to come out at par. Okay, which means that when we do the math, we should come out to $50,000. So let's see what happens. So 50000 okay, I still have eight periods, but what's my interest rate for this one? Well, 8%, right, divided by 2, so my rate is 4%. Okay, we still have eight periods, that doesn't change, right, still eight payments. So I'm going to look up 8 but this time I'm going to go over to 4%. So 4% would be 
would be 0 0.73069. And if we multiply that out, I'm going to get $36,535. Okay, now same thing for the 2000 okay, $2,000, so I'm going to go over, I'm going to use my annuity table, still eight periods, except this time we're going to go over 4%, make sure I grab the right number, and I'm going to get 6.73, make sure the, you can see the dot there, 6.73274. And if I multiply that out, that equals $13,465. And if you add that together, you know what you get? 50000 So here's kind of one of the cool things about bonds. Notice that my par value and my contract rate were the same, right? Or my market rate and my contract rate were the same. So if you mess up this calculation, and this is why I tell you to go through and figure out first what you think you're going to get, because if you're expecting a discount and you calculated it and you come out at par, you use the wrong rate. You probably use the contract rate in the table rather than the market rate. Okay, so that's kind of one way, you know, to save yourself some hassle is that if you go through and you do the calculation, you go 50000 Well, wait, I was expecting a discount or a premium. I shouldn't have got 50,000. Oh, wait, I used the wrong rate, right? Because you get 50,000 when the market is equal to the contract, so I probably use the contract rate by accident. Okay, so that's kind of a good thing to do when you're running through these calculations is just, hey, know, know what to expect in your answer. That really helps. Okay, so let's do the last one. So here my market rate is 6%. Okay, and we said we we're going to get a premium, which means people are willing to pay more for the bonds. So that means my issue price is going to be higher than par. So again, I've got my 50000 and my 2000 And let's go to the tables and find those rates. So how many periods do I have? Well, that hasn't changed. I still have eight. Okay, except this time we're going to go over to 3%. So there's my 3%. Okay, so I'm going to multiply that by point. 78941. Okay. And if I do the math on that, I get $39,471. Now it's interesting if you look at look at the present value of the 50,000 under each of the scenarios. Okay, so you notice that the smaller my market rate is, the higher the present value is. And that's because the less of a return you're going to get, the lower the market rate, right? That means the less earnings you're going to get. So when that happens, that means that you're, you have to put more money in to get the $50,000 at the end because it's not going to grow as much, okay? So it's kind of like if you put money in the market, or you put money in the in another investment. If you want a million dollars when you retire, you've got to put more money in if you're only getting six percent than you would have to put in if you were earning ten percent. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, so now back to the two thousand, and we're gonna go back to our eight periods and three percent. Okay, so that is. 7.01969. And if I do the math on that, I am going to get 14,039. And if you add that together, what did we say? Premium is going to be more than par. We get 53,510. Okay. So here is your 10%, your 8%, and your 6%, or your discount, your par, and your premium. Don't forget, when you're looking things up in the table, look up market. You're always looking up market rate. Okay. Look up the market rate. Very important.